Hey guys, it's Adam here, your Northern Tech. Today I want to show you a really cool app on my new phone. A lot of you uh, who follow the Vlogging Life channel know that I recently picked up a new phone and I've gotten away from the Apple platform and I'm now on an Android phone. This phone is the LG Optimus Black and I'll give you a quick tour of this later on in a video. I just want to quickly show an app that I found that's great if you're out war driving. If you're wondering what, what war driving is, it's where you take your laptop in your car and you cruise around the neighborhood looking for open Wi-Fi networks that have no security. And then you basically access their resources and see what kind of services they have available. A lot of people don't do it anymore, but back in the day when wireless routers first came out, war driving was freaking fun. I know I'm a victim of doing it too. Well, let's get my phone started up here. The app I want to show you it's called Wi-Fi Analyzer, and this is what it does. We'll just turn it on. Right now it's going to display a barcode. What you're looking at here is all the wireless networks in the area. So we have the red D-Link here, which is actually the router off to my side over here. We have the blue Vlog and Life, which is my other router hooked up to my DSL. These ones here are, are routers in the neighborhood, which aren't coming through as clear, so they keep popping up and bouncing out. Something else you can do with this program is you can see what channel they're on. So for instance, uh, Vlog and Life is on channel 6. The way you know that is take the peak of your, uh, we'll call it a mountain, <laughs> sure. Take the peak of the mountain, follow it straight down, and it says 6. Or you can take the numbers in between 4 and 8, which is 6, and there's your channel. Basically, Vlog and Life is on channel 6, but it's overlapping four, five, seven, and eight. That's how wireless G works. Now this here only works for wireless G. I don't think it's picking up any wireless N. I don't think my phone supports wireless N. I'll have to look into that. Another feature of this is view mode. You can change it to time graph, channel rating, access point list, and signal meter. We have it as a channel graph. So if we hit signal meter, for instance, seeing how we're hooked up to, um, I think we're hooked up to the vlog in life right now. Tap here to select. Okay, so you can actually choose which router you want to you want to see what kind of signal you're getting from it. So let's see what this Liz J is all about. And it's trying to read it. It's not getting any signal off of it. So we can turn on the sound here. I'm just going to turn that down. It's like a little pulse, right? So you can use it like a Ghostbuster PKE meter to walk around and test for signal. Let's try one like D-Link, which we're sitting right on top of. Look at that. See how... Do you see where that could be useful? If you're out looking for wireless, this will help you. I'll just leave it there. Um, another cool feature of this, we'll go back to view. Um, you got time graph, which basically it runs a non-stop linear graph showing you the signal strength of the routers. As you can see here, there's Vlog and Life. D-Link's probably on there somewhere too. It's probably the red line right there, seeing how the router is literally right over there. It's like right there. Um, D-Link is probably that red line on the top. I wouldn't be surprised. But um, it's giving you a, I think what is it, what's the interval? Three seconds? Basically a graph, a running graph, showing you how the quality is. So if you wanted to use this here to trail down some Wi-Fi, all you have to do is just walk around, and as it spikes higher and higher and higher, you know you're getting closer and closer and closer to that person's Wi-Fi connection. Another view would be channel rating. Now, for this, what you would do is you would, right now it's locked on to the Linksys at work, so we'll tap up here, and we'll choose D-Link, for instance. D-Link would be better off on channels 1 or 11. That's the star rating, or 12, sorry. But basically the higher the star rating, the better channel it's on. Right now it's on channel 11, so it's on a good, it's on a good area. But it's saying channel 1 would be better for it. So we could actually change it. And this is a great way if you need to tune your router to find out what channel you should be on to get the maximum coverage, maximum performance. Right there, it'll tell you. Uh, vlog and life. Let's take a look at it. Current channel six. It's the best channel for it. It's got maximum stars. So there we go. Another cool option in here: access point list. This will tell you every access point in your area that this that your phone can pick up and tell you what channel they're on, what they're broadcasting at, and what security they have. So 
You can see my two here, Vlog and Life and D-Link, are both running WPA2 Enterprise. Um, or WPA2, I'm just set it up for Enterprise. Um, Liz J keeps coming up with WPA2. And there's another one here, Bullet keeps coming up with WEP, Wireless Equivalent Protection. So, that pretty much covers all the features of this cool little program. Once again, that program is called Wi-Fi Analyzer. It's available on the app market. It's absolutely free. There's no cost for it. And it's a definitely amazing, awesome tool. I recommend it. Anyway, guys, take care. Yeah.